Allison Felix lost the final of the 400 meter by just seven one hundredths of a second because she decided to cross the finish line like a normal person. This is an Olympic edition of the Daily Win brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, smell him who's boss. While attempting to become the only woman in U.S. track history to win five gold medals, Felix trailed Shawnee Miller coming into the final stretch, but managed to pull ahead before Miller risked it all, diving right into the finish line. Hate to break it to you, sports Twitter, but the move is 100% legal. And Miller timed it brilliantly. She captured gold because the move allowed her torso to cross the finish line first. That's why you see track athletes lean forward. So much for the old don't dive into first rule. People were a little salty on social media about the Bahamians dive, but lest we forget the 2008 men's 400 meter final. American David Neville dove to capture bronze, robbing Chris Brown of the Bahamas a medal. It's only unfair when the Americans are on the losing end of an unconventional tactic, right? The silver marks Felix's seventh Olympic medal, allowing her to surpass Jackie Joyner Kersey as the most decorated American female track athlete of all time. But as we all know, that was just the consolation prize. So should diving be reserved for the pool or should Felix have taken the plunge if she wanted gold that badly? Especially considering Felix said this Olympics would be her last. I think you know how I feel about it. But we wanna hear from you, so let us know in the comments below and keep it locked on SB Nation for all your Olympics coverage.